Hello, long time no see. I hope you're doing good. I am worse for the wear. This is the, toward the end of my shopping trip for this week. So, you'll have to excuse me, but I did want to come on because I am by myself and I am heading home right now. I cannot wait to get home. It's funny, you look forward to going off by yourself, which I did today. And, but then you get tired and you're just ready to go home. And that is me now. So what's been going on? It's been a while. Um, <sighs> yep, like I said, today is shopping day. I have um, done some grocery shopping. Went to the U.S. Food Chef store. It's like a restaurant supply store, but it's open to the public, and I bought some shrimp. They had $21.25 shrimp for like five, $5.60 something or $5.80 something a pound. It's awesome. And uh, so, I bought 10 pounds of that. We're not going to use it all at once. Put some away, but we're going to do a Buford stew, and I bought some invitation crab to do a crab salad, and also crab and cheese. Uh, it's going to be Bethany's birthday. She will be turning 15, and so she wanted some seafood, primarily invitation crab, and she really wanted the crab and cheese so I said okay I've never made it but it looks easy so that's what we're gonna do not all of us like crab just eat all of it for a meal so we are going to do like I said a few first two um, I went to Aldi and I got stuff for her birthday dessert she wants peanut, uh, not peanut butter pies she wants ice cream pies, so I'm going to make two ice cream pies, and then I bought stuff for, we are doing, we are hosting a meal at church, we are having revival services this coming week, so I am doing lasagnas. With garlic bread and salad. I'm sure I should have bought more produce, but that's okay because they did not have any cottage cheese at Aldi. I couldn't find it at the chef store either. So that's okay. I will stop somewhere else soon. I need it on Saturday. I'm gonna make up the lasagnas on Saturday for us to have on Sunday, so that'll work out okay. Um, school's going pretty good. We are progressing and moving forward daily. Uh, I have started using a few new curriculums this year and they are turning out to be a blessing. So that is good. For those of you that don't know, we still have four in school and we homeschool. So that is going well. I think we will do, even after this school year is up, I think we will do a bit of school in the summer. Just have it more as a lifestyle versus nine months out of the year. Just a little bit every day. And we need to be done with this school year though by the beginning of May. Once again, last year we had to be done by the beginning of May, or so I thought. Jaden decided to come the very last bit of May, but I wanted to be ready just in case we needed to go to Virginia for that. But this year, my youngest sister is getting married in Florida. So we have rented a house to go there for a few days. And then once we're done there, we'll drive back on up into Georgia and camp the rest of the week in Georgia somewhere close to Savannah for a vacation. A long time coming, let me tell you. So around 
the house, I have been decluttering, getting rid of a whole lot of stuff, primarily clothes and books. Um, but let me tell you something else I've done. I have, and this was an idea that I got from another mom on YouTube, I have made a place setting for each child and each person that's in the family, there's eight of us now, and the cabinets. So each person gets a dinner plate, a salad plate, a bowl, a cold beverage cup, and a hot beverage cup. And So I have it all like a place setting in the cabinet. Everyone has that and they have their own of everything. They wash their own dishes, basically. It's worked out great. I have not thrown the other dishes away. I did throw a few things away, but I put all of the dishes in a big box and brought them to our room. So if anything breaks, and it has since we've done this, we started the beginning of December. So we've been doing this for about, I would say six weeks. But, um, if you only have that many dishes in the kitchen, and everybody, for the most part, washes their own dishes, the kitchen doesn't become such, uh, such a disaster. So, that's the whole idea, and it has worked. How come I didn't know this earlier? I don't know. It takes a while to figure things out sometimes. But, that's working out good. So today I also went clothes shopping. I went to uh, Old Navy. A friend gave me a gift card. I found four shirts and I bought some perfume there. And so I like the shirts a whole lot. And I went to Goodwill. I found, I think, 11 skirts at Goodwill. And I was excited about that. But let me see if I can pull this up real quick. This is something else I'm excited about. I'm going to clean it out really well. And I don't know if it's going to come all out or if it's just worn at the bottom. But I'm going to clean this up. I have the lid and it was $12.79. Yeah, so that will go into my cast iron collection. I have a red four or five quart, I'm not so sure. Five quart. And I have an orange three or four quart. And then in the closet, there, I have a green one. The orange one belonged to my mom. The green one belonged to my mom. The green one will go to Bethany whenever she moves away one day. So that will be hers. Now Brittany, my daughter that is married, she has a red five quart. That was my mom's as well. So, I was excited to find that, and then I found like a, and I've been wanting this for a long time, let me think of the name of it, uh, a trifle dish, is that what it's called, trifle dish, uh, it's where you have the layered desserts, it's not on a stand or anything, it sits flat on the table, and I'm very happy with that, I was using, um, my cake stand, one of my cake stands that you can invert the lid onto the base to make um, layered desserts. But this right here, I don't have to worry about doing that. And I can just put saran wrap or whatever on top. So that was good. And then I found a planter. I had put a, what's the name of that? It's a low light loving plant. Pothos, I think it is in my bedroom um, on the mantle of our gas logs that we have in our bedroom and so I need to really repot it because as you know whenever you buy plants most of the time they're root bound and it, they're ready for a bigger pot so I found a nice pot 
at Goodwill. That was 279. The trifle dish was 279. I hope I'm saying that right. And then, like I said, the um, cast iron enamel cast iron pot and lid that was 1279. The skirts were 479 each. And so, except for a few of them, they were a dollar each. Found a few tanks there that I can wear underneath sweaters for a dollar each. They are the Crown and Ivy brand. I tend to go toward that brand for some reason. Um, so that was a very good shopping time. So the girls will be happy. I will probably once again be sitting at the sewing machine to take up the skirts and uh, I'll see who fits what when we get home, when I get home, and what will work for each one. Now, I don't know when this video is going to end. I'm not going to redo it. This is my second time around, so if by chance it turns off, I'm just going to upload it, but hopefully it won't until I'm ready, but just in case. Um, so, yeah. Been sitting at the sewing machine all night. Oh, James is redoing our back bathroom and mudroom and outside wall on the back of the house that brought it. We are going to have to put up a gutter system on the back of the house. We have one on the front, we don't have it on the back, and we should. Or this probably could have been prevented. But that is his project. I hope for him to get it done very soon. So we can have that bathroom up close to the kitchen. And also that will come in very handy for whenever Brittany and Mark are in town. They can use that, rest, that restroom as far as taking showers. And getting ready whenever they're at our house. Granted, upstairs we have in the guest room, I guess you'd call it an attic room. Um, we are looking into eventually making just a half bath up there. Since it has the A-line ceiling, um, we don't see doing a shower or even put a tub in there because we have one big room and one small room. And the attic and that small room would be perfect for like a half bath so that would be great so they don't have to come downstairs to use the restroom just to shower um so that's the home improvement projects going on been clearing out a whole lot of stuff i, I my wardrobe is pretty well pared down but um the children the girls especially has, they had a ton of stuff that they never even wore. I kept it there in hopes that they would wear it, but it, they just really didn't like it, so there was no need keeping it. So the laundry room looks a lot better because we had that as a family closet, or we do have it as a family closet. So even when a few loads of clothes were not folded and put away as they should be, it's still not a big deal. It doesn't look quite as bad in there. So that is what is going on. We have revival this coming week. My dad has hip replacement surgery on Tuesday, so I will be taking him to that. And then, of course, I've got to make sure that he's squared away and doing well. And if so, then I'll be able to go to church that Tuesday night. But I am looking forward to revival services. Yeah, I think that covers all of the bases of my life right now. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Um, I still weigh the same as the last time we talked. I'm just trying to put in place good habits. I need to get home and drink more water. I did buy some straws. I went into Bath and Body Works. I bought some straws to go with my water cup. So I'll drink more water besides just carbonated 
water. I love carbonated sparkling water. Anyway, it's not good for you to drink up that all the time though. So, when I get on the water, I hurt my shoulder uh, carrying a bag of concrete Saturday before last. It's slowly getting better, but um, hopefully I can get more into exercise whenever that's all better. Of course, that doesn't affect my walking. I'm just using that as an excuse, all right. Uh, I'm debating on whether to get the cottage cheese now, but I think I will go home because I do have this frozen stuff in here. But anyway, that is it. I'm gonna let you go. It's good catching up with you. Hopefully I can shoot some more videos soon and um, we can keep in touch. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.